I think you bring up a good point, which is sometimes there's spouses that go into yeah. business with each other. There's sometimes friends that go into business with each other. And whether they work out or not, I think underlining all that needs to be. Hey, it's Lance McGowan here and Tanner Freegard. And today we're going to be talking about the question of how do we create win-win business partnerships. And I took some notes here and have some learnings. And a lot of it comes down to clarifying expectations up front and lovingly holding each other accountable. And I know that when these two things have been done, I have had more win-win situations in the business partnerships that I have. Because then we understand what the other person's goals and needs are. And they understand what my goals and needs are. And that could be for communication style, mm -hmm. um, like timeliness, frequency, the respect that's still maintained there. Um, it could be also like how money is spent or how things are, you know, do you prefer text or phone calls or emails or voicemails or, or Facebook Messenger or Instagram DMs? Like what's your communication style and, and how do we deal with things when they come up as well? Which is going to be more about the next video, right? How business partnerships fail. Um, but how do we create win-win partnerships? Clarify expectations and lovingly hold each other accountable when things pop up. Absolutely. Everything comes back down to communication. Yeah. Do you openly, when you're looking at starting a partnership, are you communicating what it is that you're looking out of that? Mm. Are they communicating the same? Mm. Do you have that five, maybe ten minute conversation of real talk of, you know, outside of we're able to connect very well and, right. and do these types of things? Like, do you see yourself actually working together? And if the answer is no, but yet you're great friends, that's fine. If the answer is yes, then continue it. Then you know you're on that right path. If you're uncertain, um, that's where those questions of figuring out where that person's goals are and what their aspirations are, what, what are their values. Mm -hmm. That was something that we've talked about heavily before we talked about anything else yeah. was uh, the values that we hold, you know? Yeah. We're huge on faith, family, business, making sure that all of these things are incorporated, our yeah. health. It's not just one thing or another, yeah. you know? And if you're willing to give up one of those things, then that's okay, but it, you have to actually be okay with that. It can't be something that, like, hey, I'm willing to not talk about this aspect, I'm willing to not talk about that aspect, but yet not be okay with it five, 10 years down the road. Yeah. You know, otherwise we need to make those adjustments. Yeah. And, and looking at a win-win partnership, I would say ours is definitely that. And when I, you know, tie in some of the learnings and what we talked about in our other previous videos um, with regards to adding value, we're both, both bringing something to the table. Yeah. You have, you know, a wealth of knowledge when it comes to finances and, you know, pun intended, right? <laughs> and so, and then, you know, I'm bringing a lot of health education to the table. And when it comes to health is wealth or wealth is health or or however you want to say it, it's very synergistically there and there's a lot of value exchange there and the value that we give to our audiences as well and whether it be you know in person or online or through our referrals. Yeah. Um, and then when we look at the art of storytelling as you know our previous video as well, you know, there's lots of stories and experiences that we're creating, you know, about our videos and you know how they've done on YouTube and the things that have gone well, the things that haven't, but also in our own lives, personal and business, mm -hmm. and being able to tie those into our message each time about our family history yeah. or even you know you know relationship status or or business partnerships because all these as, as much as we think that they're compartmentalized they can bleed into one another like and they do like your significant other your business partnerships um, you know your social media you know all these stuff yeah they bleed very closely yeah like I mean I, I know we have conversations uh, weekly at, at minimal and it's always about different aspects. It's, hey, what's going on in your relationship life? How's yeah. your faith life? It, we're, we're adding value, either whether it's on or off camera. And that's one of the things that I feel partnerships, it's a must. You have to be in a win-win situation where you're actually adding value every single time you're meeting up. Yeah. If you're not, then that's an opportunity to re-look at that partnership that you have and say, is this really what I was wanting? If it is, okay, but if it's not, you know, you got to make those adjustments yep. and things change. 
Yep. You know, maybe it was uh, the right partnership for that specific amount of time. You accomplished what you wanted, mm -hmm. and then now that partnership is is done. It's it's not the friendship's over. Mm. It's you we're done working together in that aspect. Mm. You know, and I think that a lot of times uh, that's where the emotion comes in. It's like, oh, we've been working together for so long, and it's just like I don't know what to do. And it's okay to continue to have friendships with people and not necessarily do anything else. But being able to separate those, knowing this is my friend mm -hmm. and this is my partner. Yeah. And not really blend the two, even though a lot of times they ended up getting blended anyway. Yeah. But being able to yeah. separate those things and have those talks. Yeah. I think you bring up a good point, which is sometimes there's spouses that go into yeah. business with each other. There's sometimes friends that go into business with each other. And whether they work out or not, I think underlining all that needs to be a form of effective communication, timely and respectful communication, um, where expectations are known and communicated, but also a way to deal with conflict. And if things don't work out, which we're going to talk about in our next video, because mm -hmm. um, I did, you know, I met with, you know, I used to do a lot of one-on-ones with local business owners. Not so much now that I'm doing more online videos and stuff, but um, you know, he mentioned some really key things about what to do with business partnerships and some things that are missing in them as well. And so we're going to cover that in the next video. But that concludes this video. Um, if you want to leave what you think creates more of a positive win-win situation in business partnerships, whether it be small business, entrepreneurship, startups, or even, you know, maybe you're an entrepreneur, meaning you're an employee that has an entrepreneurial spirit or a side hustle in your corporation or office or even field-based or manufacturing warehouse type of environment. Um, what do you think offers the most win-win business partnerships with vendors or potential product or service providers or even, you know, your spouse if you go in business with your spouse? What is it? Is it clarifying expectations? Is it, you know, conflict resolution? Is it, you know, understanding needs and goals? Leave your answer below. Definitely want to hear from you. Otherwise, hit the like button if you got some value out of today's video and hit the subscribe button for future video updates. And we'll see you in the next video.